Hi everyone, my name is Father Brendan McAleer. Um, I work for the Office of Vocations and today I'm going to speak to you straight from the heart. This past Sunday we heard from the Gospel of Luke where the angel Gabriel comes to Mary and says that she will, be, she will conceive of a child and that child will be our Savior, Jesus. But Mary's heart is troubled and she has many questions. But God, through the angel, comes to her and he says, Be not afraid. This phrase, be not afraid, is one of the most often used phrases in the Bible. Some say it's over 365 times. So almost every day we have a scripture passage in the Bible to remind us to not be afraid. And I think that this is such a beautiful message for us as we approach Christmas. Because in our world there's, there's a lot of question marks, there's a lot of fear, there's a lot of confusion. God is constantly coming, coming to us, breaking into our lives, and telling us to breathe, to relax, to prepare for a better future to come. In ancient uh, cultures and societies, in Spartan culture particularly, there was a way of training soldiers, not only physically, putting them through really rigorous training, uh, making them stay outside, beating them, preparing for war, there was also a sense of psychological training, where they trained soldiers to prepare for the worst possible scenario in the hopes to be prepared for the worst possible future. I often think about that historical uh, tidbit, that reality, during this season, because this is not how Christians wait. We're coming to the end of this season of Advent. We know the end of the story. We know what the Lord has done for us and continues to do for us. But we know we become sheepish. We can get cold feet to living into that call. But the Lord tells us to not be afraid, to anticipate for a better tomorrow, that we know the end of the story, that the Lord is whispered into the world on Christmas, that he walked among us, that he called disciples, that he walked this earth, that he died and he rose again and he sends his spirit among us to give us new life, to give us the path to true happiness. When we believe in that, when we believe in the truths of our faith, we'll truly not have to be afraid. That's my prayer for all of you. It's been wonderful to be here. God bless you and your family during this holy season of Christmas. May God bless you.